Today I'm in Naples, on board a Maxi Honda dinghy, equipped with two outboard Honda engines. They are brand new engines of 250 horsepower each, and today the conditions are ideal to test them out. It is an Italian product made by BWA for Honda and was designed by none other than Christian Grande. It is part of the 4XC range, which is an acronym for For Excellence, and this is the H9 model. It is known in the market for its quality, reliability, and performance. Honda's philosophy is to maintain high production standards to always ensure maximum quality in all their products. The sporty profile, which is enhanced by the colours, gives it an aggressive look and actually makes the dinghy look smaller than it is. Below deck, there is room for two people to sleep. There is a mobile container and a toilet. The panels are smooth and polished and the impeccable finishes make the interior look very elegant. The control panel has four independent electrical circuits which are controlled by a digital system that you would usually find in automobiles. And thanks to the controls at the helm, it is possible to operate, control, and reset all the onboard controls. If the system should fail, there are traditional manual switches that are integrated in the interior of the cabin. On deck, the center structure that also has seats can slide into any desired position. Behind the sofa, a foldable table can be mounted in two easy steps. This can also be used as a sunbed. The galley includes a grill, a fridge and even a water supply for the sink that can hold 160 litres. This model is not alone though. The Honda fleet comprises of three models of 7, 8 and 9 meters respectively. Now it's time to turn the engines on. They were already on. Either I'm deaf or they are very silent. Very silent indeed. However, I would like to do another test. It's incredible, it's a V6, but it runs like a 12-cylinder, without vibrating. Are you ready? We have 500 horsepower at our disposal on this Honda H9 Maxi Dinghy 4 Excellence Series. What a powerful acceleration! In just a few moments, I've reached 40 knots without even touching the trim tabs. I'm at 4,800 revs a minute, which is cruising speed for an engine that can reach up to 6,300 revs a minute. And I'm traveling at 40 knots. But what happens if I suddenly push to full throttle? Incredible! The acceleration is amazing! The Japanese technicians thought that it wasn't right to waste good fuel when you don't need a lot of power. When traveling at cruising speed, the instruments tell me that I'm in eco mode, which means that the pilot is controlling the boat in an intelligent way. Actually, it's the engine that's intelligent. Now I'll push it to its maximum speed. A bit of trim, a good control of the steering wheel, a bit more thrust. Let's see if we can reach maximum revs as well. We're flying now. Incredible! 51 knots, 6,300 revs a minute. 
It has incredible handling. I have the sea at the side, but look at how straight it keeps its course, even at full throttle. This boat was surely put together by a Honda technician who is also a speedboat pilot. When you go very fast, the direct air intake of the engine is given priority. It is the first time that this type of system is used on an outboard engine. With direct air intake, fresher air is sucked into the combustion chamber and therefore more oxygen. But there is another value that is very interesting. At 3,100 revs a minute, at a speed of 24 knots, the fuel consumption of each engine is only 18 litres an hour. The Honda engineers have created a very versatile engine of 250 horsepower. The Ecomo and blast functions have given this outboard engine two souls. One silent, relaxed and economical, the other sporty, aggressive and very fast. It's up to you to decide how to use it.